Hello everybody and welcome to Bikini Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to properly export in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'll be using this uh, Watch Dogs project for uh, showing you how this thing works. And this is a project that I, I made for the uh, Ubisoft Film Fest. I don't know if you heard about it. And in case you haven't seen it, I do highly recommend you to watch it. I will leave a link in the description to the video because it's only five minutes long and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy it. So for those that uh, just want to be quick and just want to render the video and don't want to take too much uh, care about of um, all the different options that Premiere gives you, just select the, um, your sequence here on the timeline, go to File, Export, Media, and come over here to the preset called Much Source, High Bitrate, and uh, Premiere automatically would, will take all the different features of your video, like the size, the frames per second, and everything. And it will just give you um, not so many options that if you if you took another of the custom presets. And you just have to click here on Export, and it will automatically do the whole thing. Obviously, take care that you should put this to each extent so that you don't you don't render only your video partially but if you want to know uh, what you're actually doing and you wanna render everything step by step uh, knowing everything in detail first of all you will have to go to sequence sequence settings and pay attention to to all the different features here first of all we see that my video is seeing uh, full HD seeing 1920 per 1080 square pixels which comes to be that every pixel are squares that is the same uh, horizontal and vertical uh, size and then it's in 25 f fps fps are frames per second what comes to be uh, how many images you can see in your video per each second so in my video there are 25 images per second 25 frames per second so okay knowing that we click OK, we go again to File, Export Media, and we have to see now uh, all the different options that uh, Premiere gives us. First of all, we can see that we have a lot of different pre presets depending if we want to um, export our, our video to be shown on a tablet, on a PSP, or uh, in whatever. I'm going to take this uh, preset, HD, 180, and 20, 25 frames per second, which is the, you know, the options that, um, the features that uh, I have in my video. And now we have to go first to the video settings. Make sure that everything is uh, okay in here. And then it gives you this uh, TV standard, two options. One is PAL and another one is the NTSC. We can see here in the in the in this uh, message that it says that NT, NTSC it's only used in the USA and in Japan um, because I'm in Europe I'm in Spain I have to take the, the PAL uh, version but if you're in the United States you have to take the NTSC version just be careful because if you click here it will change the frames per second and it will change everything so if you're using uh, 25 frames per second image you will have to change that bit because but because I'm using a PAL I will just uh, leave it here so okay the next thing that you should know are the byte the byte rate settings the byte rate is um I don't know how to properly explain that but it's basically how much quality uh, you want in your video and both how much space you want that to um, to occupy so if you just want a quick video to be exported, you can just put it to maybe 10 as the as the minimum and 15 to the maximum, and that will render a you know nice quality video. If you want a good quality video, you can put it to maybe 20 or 25 for example, and maximum 30. But if you want the highest quality possible, you can just put both of them to 50 although I I do not recommend that at all because uh, f because if the minimum bite rate is uh, 50 that will make you 
a very large file. So you can have like, I don't know, um, 20 gigabytes per three minutes of video. So I always recommend to not put it higher than 30. You can keep the, the one here at the bottom, you can keep it at 50, but the one at the, at the top, keep it at 30. Then you have the passes, that the passes are um, uh, the times your video is rendered. There's not that big much of difference, but if anyway, you still want the highest quality possible, click to passes, it will take the double of time for render, but obviously it will take um, much high, higher quality. If you have a supercomputer and you don't mind at all about the time that it takes to render, you can just click also here, render at maximum depth, and also use maximum render quality. But make sure that while you're rendering, you just leave the computer alone, that you don't start like playing games or doing anything because um, that can cause you problems. Then, you have this option here that is use previews. I don't have any previews, but uh, I don't know if you know it, but in Premiere Pro, if you're in your timeline and you press enter, it will render every single effect if you have uh, videos that you have no effects on top or, or anything, it, there will be no um, previews made. But if you have, for example, imported um, compositions from After, After Effects, for example, um, uh, through the, um, the link, this uh, link thing that I don't remember the name, the direct, direct link or something like that, they will create you a, previ a preview that is made for um so that you can see the video on real time without lag so if you already have some previews in your video you can just click here on these previews but because i don't have any i just won't click it the last thing that you should know is about audio that uh the sample rate is usually always in forty eight thousand because it's a pretty nice quality and there's also a Another thing over here, oh here, the channels, this was what I was looking for. If you take mono, it will sound exactly the same thing for each uh, each speaker. If you select stereo, if you have some uh, stereo effects, it, they will sound on each speaker depending on the effects that you have. For example, imagine that you have uh, this sound effect of a car passing by and it starts sounding by one speaker and then the sound turns to the other speaker. If you choose mono, it will sound exactly the same of both of on both both of them. Damn it! <laughs> but if you select stereo, it will sound first in one and then in another one. Obviously, if you have a stereo um, sound, if you have one like this sound, for example, that looks to be exactly the same on both channels, it just won't. It just will sound the same. And finally, if you're exporting your video for a Blu-ray or for a very high-quality high video, you can export it on 5.1. Although, this uh, is a difference that you can only listen to if you have like a very big sound equipment. But if you're just going to listen your video through a computer speaker or something like that, if you put it in stereo, that's perfect. So, okay, that, that was basically what I wanted to tell you. The last thing on, only if you click here on Q, it will go to the Adobe Media Encoder, which is another software that is pretty cool because uh, it renders your video, it's opening here, and while it's rendering, do more stuff here. You can have your video rendering and still be making, working on another project that you might have. But if you're not going to work in any other project, and I do highly recommend you that when you render, you only leave the computer render, you don't do anything else. If you're not going to do that, you just can go to um, to the direct uh, export uh, export um, option, and it will it will use Premiere. You cannot you keep you wouldn't be able to keep using Premiere for exporting and so. So that was basically it. I just want to let you know these uh, different options that uh, Premiere gives you. And I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope that it was helpful for some of you. And I hope that you let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you would like to know about After Effects, Premiere, or whatever software from Adobe. Just let me know and I'll hope to help you as quick as possible. And I really hope to see you in the next tutorial. So, see ya!